Time to hop into the speedboat, get out on the water. Apparently this is the new Boracay. So, so crazy that we get to call this our job. Good morning, guys. Welcome what? to morning. a very early well, early for us. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what time it is that you're watching, but... We got up at half five. Yeah, it's a very early daily juice for us today. This is amazing, look at this view. This is the sunrise we are waking up to this morning. We're off for some breakfast. We're off for an insane day today. How's it going? Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. George, but you're in the going, George. Hi. Do you guys know that we don't always like doing the most touristy activities? You know, we like doing things that uh, locals do or things that aren't the most obvious thing when you Google a place. So that's why, firstly, we're staying here and secondly, we're doing the things we're doing today because we have been completely overwhelmed by basically one of you guys as a friend who owns this place and they've taken us in for the next few nights and they've planned this incredible stay for us. So huge thanks to Abby. Morning, hi. And today we are going up on this speedboat. Um, we're going to see some different beaches and then they've got a few more plans uh, for us later on today. But I'm just so grateful and so excited. It's I'm been like, a while since, since we've been island hopping. Apparently people say around this area in Bicol, where we are right now, is the new El Nido. So we're so excited to be spending the next uh, few days here in Bicol and being shown around by a local um, who's going to take us to all the non-touristy spots and all the places that, uh, well they look amazing. So a huge, huge shout out to Abigail for setting this up for us and to Yun who will be showing us around while we're here. It's so, so kind of you guys. The waves are looking pretty choppy out there, but I'm sure it's going to be a very exciting day. This is incredible. Back in the UK where we live, we live like we live like two minutes away from the beach. So waking up in the morning, just being able to come down to the beach on a warm day like today. It's not even too hot yet. Amazing, they're preparing breakfast for us in the Hoopan restaurant here. The guy showing us around is a chef and the dinner last night was insane. It's very, very good. So we're very, very excited for breakfast, but wow, this is so nice. So amazing waking up by the ocean with the breeze coming over. It kind of reminds me of home. Obviously it's a lot nicer than England. Absolutely incredible. But when I wake up by the water, I feel so much more energized, so much more refreshed than when I wake up in a city with like pollution and stuff. This is a real treat staying here. And we're very, very excited for today. So you're having our brood. It's a local bean. Um, mm. We're supposed to... It's great. Ah, oh, very nice. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. very much. Nice beef tapas, scrambled eggs, rice, little tomato-y salad-y thing. It looks so good. Doing some proper off-roading now. Yeah, what we did yesterday was nothing. <laughs> off to the watermelon farm. I'm gonna pick out some of our own watermelons. <laughs> so get some cool. energy in us to start the day. Before we head out on the boat, uh, which is very exciting, but this whole property is like amazing. There's a watermelon farm here. I've never been to a watermelon farm. I've never picked my own watermelons. Nelly's got a good eye for watermelons. Yes, she does. So let's see if her skill helps, <laughs> helps us today. <laughs> The property here is absolutely huge. They have the hotel area, the pool, etc., and then a huge plot of land, and then this watermelon farm as well. So all of this is theirs, all private land. They're letting us have a look around the whole place. So, so generous, so, so kind. The Filipino hospitality 
presence. It's really, really showing it's through. So and amazing. It's we very, said, very kind. We said earlier, do you know any laundry places? And he was like, don't worry, I've got you. It's just yeah. So nice. So, so generous. If you guys are interested in staying as well, it's called Club Madison's. And uh, the restaurant, which is easier to find on the internet, is Hookpan. Hookpan. We'll, we'll put it here. Yeah. Really good food. Oh my God, dinner last amazing. night. <laughs> <Incredible>. <laughs> That's a big juicy one. <laughs> the mother and father. Whoa! Wow! <laughs> Lift with your knees. Uh, it's so heavy. Mike, we, we can do our morning workout with these. Yeah. Ouch. Just put myself in the eye. Guys, the Philippines watermelons are the best. They're the sweetest, the juiciest, and I've never had a watermelon as fresh as the one that we just tasted this morning. To come out into this farm. I've never even been in a watermelon farm before. To come out right into the farm, pick our own watermelon, take it straight out the ground, cut it open, eat it, early morning, blue skies, sun shining, right near the ocean. Absolutely incredible. It's only months. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. wow. They grow quick. Yeah, you, you're going to plant it for the first month, and then after three months, yeah. you can... Uh, really? So three months? Yeah. Wow. Just three months. Do you know how many watermelons there are here? Uh, that little leaf of wood of you. About 3,000 for one hectare. hectare. Wow. wow. 3,000. So this is a three hectare watermelon yeah. farm. So that, that means we have 9,000 wow. watermelons. <laughs> and, then they, and then they get sold at the market. Yes. Right? Yeah. Brilliant. Wow. Wow. The market, some goes to the hotels. Yeah. 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 Great. Some restaurants. How much does it one depends. watermelon it cost? If it's in the market, it's lesser, yeah. less price. Uh -huh. If it's in the restaurant, it's a little bit higher. Mm. Sure. So how much would the father be in a market? It's around 30 per kilo. Okay, 30 great. 30 per kilo. Amazing. Wow. Incredible. I've never seen anything like this. No, me neither. <laughs> We're from England, so I don't think we can even grow watermelons. No, they're just in the yeah. shop and they're really expensive yeah. you can't get them at <laughs> yeah. Wrapped in plastic. Yeah. Yeah. Dry. Already, already cut. Not yeah. sweet. Not fresh. No. Not sweet. No. Some say this might be the juiciest watermelon in the world. See, I think I prefer that. Nelly just said it, she feels like it needs a bit, little bit longer harvesting. This is perfect for me. I love it. These people here, the people that run the farm, have just given us the mother and father watermelons that we just showed you. They're so kind. And there's people here, these are the buyers just here that are here uh, maybe getting stuff in the restaurants or to sell at the markets. And they're here to come and choose all their watermelons that they're going to buy today. But the juiciest, sweetest watermelons is so delicious. Maybe this is like the Gimaras of mango. This is the we're in Dayet, D-A-E-G, I don't know how you pronounce it, comment below. Maybe that's the like place for watermelons. If, if it's not, it should be, they're amazing. So show everybody some love, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Can you show everybody me some needs, love? Love needs to be given Lucy to everybody. Lucy already got many followers, so Yeah, no, no one else needs to follow I got 30k Lucy. a minute ago. So, so this, this video Thanks, is going live tomorrow at 7 p.m. <laughs> what are we gonna do if each of us gets a thousand followers on Instagram between 7 p.m. right now and 7 p.m. the next day? Why don't oh. we let the like you guys decide. Good idea. Yeah. yeah. How about that thing you do? said about the watermelon in the field a minute ago? We could all do that. Yeah, naked, na yeah. naked watermelon in the field. Yeah. Naked live stream. watermelon Perfect. Naked live stream. Water <laughs> Perfect. All right, I think everyone's going to unfollow. <laughs> <laughs> you can still change your mind. Are you sure about this? <laughs> it's not too late. This is your car, right? <laughs> no, I just said, yeah. <laughs> uh, sports mode. Huh? Yeah, sounds good. Perfect. You didn't just tell Mike where sports mode is, did you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mike's driving. I'm not sure how this has happened, oh, but... Oh, really is a parking brake. <laughs> <laughs> not a good start. It's so fun when you go up, you just don't see where the car's going yeah. after the... Time to hop into the speedboat, get out on the water. Apparently this is the new Barakai.
to come down to the harbour now and this is a fish fish come in here to be sold as a market just here people selling fish um, you can really smell fish can't you it's a very very strong smell and the first stop today is an island called Calaguas everyone here is so friendly we were just saying in the UK like some kid just walks past and just starts guiding the car in as we're parking here in the UK if you're parking everyone will be like mm, leave you to it they'd never offer to help people just help here just out of genuine kindness and as we have a private boat we don't have to wait for anyone we don't have to queue up at the port or anything it's literally like just there ready to go and we're gonna get on it now it's really so cool we brought up quite a crowd here <laughs> yeah everyone's like what what are you doing here this is really not a tourist is what they're saying yesterday that tourists this is people where people live this is not where people come to like sightsee sort of thing which is why we love it and they've just given us some like coconut water there's like coconut flesh inside it oh it's nice amazing. it's so hydrating we love coconut water we try and have like a coconut a day don't we or two Yes, we'll try. And the boat's just getting popped into the water now. And this is the fishing, like the fishing capital. This is where the main fish, yeah, the main fish port um, for the whole of the province, the whole of Beko, which is really cool. Uh, this is the fish that we're going to have for lunch. It's freshly caught, grilled here, next to the market. This is, this is the dream. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Look at that! Wow! Yeah! In Bigol, Mabata! Uh huh! Oh! Mabata! Oh! Lapa! You know, Lapa! Pagoy! Pagoy! Yo, Pagoy! Wow! Per kilo, 80 pesos! In England, how much? Uh, uh, supposed to be 8 pounds! Bonking! In English, crab! Crab, yeah. And big old bonking. <laughs> and big old gato. You know gato? I'm pretty sure this guy is telling us. Please let us know in the comments. I think he's making up what these things are called for the entertainment of his friends. But this, this is great. This is amazing. Not many. I don't think any tourists really come here. So this is a unique experience for us. Very, very grateful to be here. Been shown around by locals. So we've just been told that our lunch is currently being cooked. We've got four kilos of prawns, of shrimps, uh, and two redfish as well. This is going to be a lot of food, but I feel like eating like shrimps and stuff, like peeling shrimps on a boat in the sun, is just like so good. I feel like I've got memories of doing that in like El Nido and where else? Port Barton. So cool. And I can't wait to see the place. It's supposedly the new Boracay as well. lunch is pretty much cooked and ready they're letting us have a look back in the kitchen here where they've just prepared it for us hello hi hello oh wow this is where the magic happens oh this is cool Amazing. it smells so good wow hi wow this looks great some crabs cooking up here ready to see some amazing islands yeah. let's go Sand, oh, it's a huge stretch, white sand, palm trees. Sorry, I want to interrupt you. Yeah. 
Wow. Absolutely stunning here. With the green islands behind it, that's unique to this place. Look at the colour. We are pretty much the only people who are going to be on this island, which is incredible. There's no tour companies that come here. It's not the season at all. You need a pretty good boat like this to get here because some of those waves were choppy. Wow. Absolutely amazing. This is incredible. The sand is so white and the water's like... It's clearer than Boracay. I remember being in the water in Boracay and being like, wow, this is the clearest water I've ever seen. This is, this is better. And there's no one here. We're the only ones here. Unlike anything I've ever seen. It is so beautiful. I said on Instagram the other day that it's so, so crazy. We get to call this our job. Look at this. Absolutely incredible, best water I've ever seen, best beach I've ever been on, easily, easily. I think all four of us are in agreement that this is just absolutely amazing. And it's a Tuesday, insane. Yeah, yeah. I would like to go there at the back of the house where a high school teacher caught us when making out. But really not at the same time Nothing can come between us You and me, we're staying alive Alive, forever alive So hear me out Telling you now We're gonna go all the way up Cause we got it all figured it out For the both of us we've been rolling out Top down Telling you now Incredible. I'm, I've run out of words, like no words that I know can describe this place and give it the credit it deserves. It's incredible. It's the best place I've been to. Ever. <laughs> like Boracay is amazing, but it's so busy and full of people. Imagine Boracay, firstly looking better, but secondly with no one there. Imagine Boracay on your own, this is what this place is. I think we need to get in the water. I agree. Absolutely so crazy. This is a dream. This is absolutely. Can you not stand up here? There you go. Come on. Sand is so soft on our so feet. Nice. The water's this amazing turquoise colour. There's love no it. one around other than us, the boat captain, Mike and Nelly, Mike and Nelly <laughs> our new friend Yun, and Yun's dad as well has joined us today. Thank you so much. Like guys, you were saying, like we love seeing you. It makes us happy to see you happy. People are so nice here. Yeah. It literally makes me emotional how kind everyone is. We've got some food here. The oh, I'm gonna break the plate doing this. Huge amount of rice, some prawns, and then the fish that we saw being grilled earlier at the market. Oh, and of wow. course, Look at that. using our hands to eat. Look at the peanut style. No, I'm just going to say, this is the best fish I ever had. <laughs> Seriously, this is the best fish I ever had. Oh, what a day. What a day. Mm. This is the best. It's so good. Yeah. Mm. So good. Incredible. We've just been chatting with everyone, and apparently this place, um, in high season, you might get a handful of uh, like local tourists, but you really never seem to get like international tourists coming here. Uh, and we're like one of the first people to come here and see this. Uh, we're the first tourists to ever go to the watermelon farm this morning. But it's just like, I feel like there's so many amazing opportunities happening today. Feeling really grateful for the warm hospitality and I encourage you guys to come and visit as well and come and do the same things as us here because it's just such a special day for us all. Like incredible lunch, great friends, great people, amazing weather on this stunning beach. Really special, really special. That's the best word to describe it, I think. I'm feeling amazing right now.
we're more or less back now. Very, very choppy ride on the way back. The rain started as well, but it's cleared up now, just in time for sunset. Um, we're heading back for a massage, because it's been quite a hard day, hasn't it? <laughs> it's a hard luck life, really. Yeah, difficult. So uh, we need a massage to relax um, before eating some more incredible food this evening. I need something relaxing, to oh. relax from the relaxing -ness. <laughs> And coffee. Yeah. And we're back, we're walking back to the hotel uh, through a very local neighborhood here. One kilometer walk back, very friendly people here smiling at us, saying hello. hello. So the place we're staying at is called Club Madison. Um, and the restaurant, the restaurant has an Instagram, the restaurant was insane last night. You can check them out at Hookpan. We'll put all the links here and in the description, you can check them out. It's in the town of Dayat in Camarinas Norte. I think I'm saying that correctly. Yeah. Absolutely incredible, incredible day today. We're looking forward to showering, freshening up, having our massage and yeah I know and then having some having some more food Yun is actually a chef so he's got like tattoos I think we showed you earlier he's got tattoos of chef knives and stuff man the food on the beach today was incredible